For years, microbiologists have studied individual bacteria and infections that they, that they cause. We now realize that there may be a great influence of the bacteria that are within us and, in, and on us uh, in the balance of health and disease. Therefore, we wanted to create an initiative that would maximize our ability to research these components. The University of Michigan Health System has put forward an initiative called Fast Forward that funds internal studies. One of these studies was the Host Microbiome Initiative. This initiative involves researchers from nine different departments and includes over 50 faculty. Our microbiota, this collection of microorganisms that we share our bodies with, provides a number of benefits to us. The goal of my research and the Host Microbiome Initiative is to understand the molecular basis of how the microorganisms that inhabit the gastrointestinal tract of humans are capable of degrading the vast variety of carbohydrates that are found within this environment. We've been able to build these molecular models of protein complexes that are on the surface of one particular phyla of bacteria, the Bacteroidetes that inhabit the gastrointestinal tract. And they're required for these bacteria to be able to break down and import a wide variety of complex carbohydrates that are found in our diet and also that are provided through our host mucosal secretions. What we're hoping to do is by understanding the kind of carbohydrates these bacteria recognize and prefer to break down, we can use this information to create functional foods or prebiotics so that we can use diet as a way to manipulate or control the abundance of different species within the human gut microbiota. Even before the Host Microbiome Initiative was started at the University of Michigan, we had actually applied for funding to establish a cooperative research center focused on a single pathogen, Clostridium difficile. This cooperative research center was actually funded by the National Institutes of Health. The cooperative research center at the University of Michigan is trying to understand how changes in the microbiome predispose patients to actually getting Clostridium difficile infection, developing disease, and more importantly, how we can actually target the microbiome as a therapeutic target to try to have patients recover from their Clostridium difficile infection. We've actually been following patients who develop Clostridium difficile. We are studying the microbiome in these patients and comparing that to the microbiome of patients who do not develop Clostridium difficile so that we can understand that relationship between the pathogen, the host, and the microbiota and how disease develops. The microbiome plays a huge role in the progression of disease in cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is caused by any number of mutations in a large gene that uh, functions to regulate the flow of ions through epithelial cells. CF is a disease that makes people prone to infection of the airways. Those infections are polymicrobial and how those communities of microorganisms interact have uh, a great bearing on the progression of lung disease. We think the potential to better understand those infections and then designing new ways to think about them, to think about preventing them, treating them, managing them uh, is extremely high. One of the challenges that we have and that you hear a lot about in the news is this problem of big data. Sequencers collect big data on us in terms of the bacteria that we harbor. And so it's really difficult to winnow through all this data to make scientifically robust conclusions. What we're primarily working on is 16S ribosomal RNA gene sequencing. Once the data comes off the sequencer, it's then the job of the bioinformaticists to figure out what the data means. Using computers and software engineering, we're able to use state-of-the-art bioinformatics tools to take all that complicated jumble of letters and to tell um, interesting biological stories that we can then use to translate to understanding human health and disease. We're still scaling up and trying to understand how more and more sequence data can be combined to compare you to yourself over time as well as compare you to other people over time so we can say, well, you know, this person's becoming diabetic or this person seems to have signatures of colon cancer or hopefully this person looks great, leave them alone. The discoveries that we make in our research in the Host Microbiome Initiative may unravel some of our greatest mysteries. These might include the effect of the microbiome on, on cancer, obesity, diabetes, and antibiotic-induced colitis.